Hey, <laughs> good evening folks and look at this monster. This uh, is a tape recorder and it's a bloody big one. The deck I believe is a ferrograph. I believe the deck's made by ferrograph, I'm not sure. But, so I'll just get it there and there's your switch and your knobs. You've got a selector there, uh, that's the treble, didn't call it tone back then, and that's your on off volume, or gain as they called it, and you've got a meter there. Now, I have had this plugged in, it was seized up, uh, the, uh, and that one still is a bit stiff, they were, they were seized up, Oh no it's not, look at dead free that now, and that's dead free. Anyway, there was, anyway it was seized up, uh, and just to see if the motors were any good, because... Just to see if the motors were any good, see if it was worth salvaging, I decided to oil them a couple of days ago just to be sure and uh, I am sure they're worth saving so uh, without further ado folks I'm gonna what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the deck out and I'm gonna service the deck first and uh, we'll save the amplifier for last so I'm gonna pull the screws out I'm going to clean this and try and get it to look as nice as I possibly can. <coughs> and somebody, at some point, has felt the need. Look at this, eh? Look at this for a bodge. There's actually a piece of paper. Yeah, ferrograph. Ferrograph tape head. Yeah, I've just noticed that. Uh, made in England, but look what someone's done. They've actually put a piece of paper. What's on that piece of paper? They've actually put a piece of paper under. Someone's put a piece of paper under the tape head. So that'll have to come off, and they'll have to work out the reason why. And that's a proper bodge, that, isn't it? I mean. Uh, and given that this is XBBC, I was told that this is XBBC, and why am I not surprised to find a bodge? Anyway, folks, uh, I'll give you a quick look inside, and then I'm going to. Uh, oh, God, man, that weighs a bit. I want to be careful because there's plugs and stuff down there. I don't want to pull anything out. And there's valves, I don't want to smash anything. Right, well that's pretty much the meat and taters of it, we've got a speaker, uh, there's a light down there, probably to light the meter up, I don't know, uh, it'd have to be bloody powerful to light the meter up, it was quite a bit away from it, I uh, don't know what the light was for, but uh, we've got a motor start capacitor, what I'll be doing, oh it's a hunts, I know we used to call them cunts, <coughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by taking the deck out and I'm going to service the deck and I'm going to refurbish everything that I can and uh, what I'll do then, I'll start on the amp, I'll leave the amp for last because I've got a feeling it's going to be very challenging, it's not just a matter of lifting a damn thing out. Anyway, but we'll get to that when we do. But for now, let's put that there. There we go. That'll be coming out in a minute. Right. I'll come back when I've got the deck out. Hello again, my electronics loving chums. We're back. And... Oh, pardon me. Right, we're back. And what I'm going to do now... <laughs> I'm going to look at 
Uh, I'm going to look at, I'm not going to strip this completely down because you never know, I might never get it back together again. But uh, I am going to work on lubricating everything to start with and cleaning everything and checking because even the speed, I mean, that's all seized up and that's the speed changer and that's, that's just dropped down now but uh, that's there we go but even that is that's, should, that should move up with ease it shouldn't be that difficult and that that shouldn't be that difficult to move up and down to the correct speed so what we're going to do, we're going to, there we go, I'm going to work on the mechanism, I'm not going to mind, but I'm not going to mind with the head plate yet, uh, I wish I had the, I, wonder, I think it would have had a cover on it, yeah it had a cover on it at one time, I wish I had it, anyway I'm not going to mind about the head plate at the moment, and all this bodge under the head, I'm not going to worry about any of that at the moment, what I'm going to worry about is testing things like, uh, parts I may have to order like this big capacitor here for the motor run uh, I'm going to have to test that, I'm going to take the bottom off here I'm going to move my torch I'm going to do, I'm going to take the bottom off here uh, I'm going to clean all the all the micro switches uh, and have you heard that? I'm going to do all that and uh, I'm going to lubricate everything. There's me food, folks, I'll be back in a bit. Right, well, what I've got to do now, uh, I need, I need my ESR tester. I need my ESR tester. <laughs> oh. There we go. Let's get the old ESR tester out. And I'll tell you what, you know, we'd be knackered. Without these testers, we'd have to do it all by working it out. Now, this is a 0.75 microfarad, so I'm expecting it to read uh, how many volts? 450 volts. I'm expecting it to. In circuit leaky. Right, so it's saying it's in circuit leaky. Now let's plug my... I mean 0.75 UF is at 400 volts, it's not a great problem. I mean, I can buy one of those capacitors, that's not a great issue. Uh, but I want to plug my soldering iron in. Because I might need the iron, <coughs> so get the iron in. Yeah. Right. It's probably reading off that motor. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to desolder it and check it again. But while I'm doing that. fit. Where's my big meaty pliers? There they are. I'm not dragging out. I'm not dragging out a shitload of spanners. Right. To do this. Oh, 
Well that's good isn't it? You've got to take the whole fucking shit off here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's see where that rattling's coming from. It's just... Is that rattling coming from? Is that coming from... Let's just move me here, Sam, here. Is that coming from... I think it's coming from that fucking ball, you know. That's, that capstan's dead silent. It's actually coming from... That, it's actually... It's actually coming... That noise is actually coming from the idler. And... I can get the idler out. There we go. There we go, there's the clip off it. Got the clip off. There we go. And there's another thing somewhere that fell out. Like a little round washer. Oh well, there we go. And there's the there's the idler as you can see. Uh it's got a little dent in it as well, and I'm wondering, I'm going to try... There we go. I'm going to try first the rubber renew. Now please folks, when you use rubber renew, be very, 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 very careful. It's, it's a poison. I believe a very, very bloody dangerous one and all. And it stinks. So I'll try not to keep it on too long. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the rubber renew and I'm going to wash my hands right, right after finishing with it. Put the top back on. Now, There we go, that's one side of it does do again. <coughs> it is supposed to renew and rejuvenate the rubber. That rubber's rock hard, I don't think it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna make a... I don't think it's gonna make a difference to it, to be honest. Right. And I haven't got anything in my stash that, 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 that'll fit that. Let's just have a look. See the extent of the... Let me just... I'll be back in a minute folks. I've had an idea. Right, I'm back. Right. I'm back and I've... Uh, 
I've done, I've, what I've done with this, I've actually reconditioned this wheel and it's, I've got the, the hard stuff off and got back down to the good rubber underneath and we're pretty much should be okay. It's not perfect but it's got to be better than what it was. Right. I just need to find my paintbrush now. There it is, my little paintbrush for my grease. Because I thought I was going to have to strip all this. I'm not. Alright. Don't think I am anyway. Right, I don't want to get any of that grease on the rubber. Uh, and that's the shaft it goes on. So. There we go. Now. And it doesn't matter which way this goes on because. It really does matter, but the problem is is moving that out of the way with the capstan. Oh, there we are. Moving all this out of the way. And then comes up to that, goes that way on. Oh, I had that right then, I, don't, I had that in the right place I needed it then. There we go, get it here. Oops. I'll tell you what folks. We're actually on, it's just got to get it up. Come on. That's it. I'm gonna to have to stand up to do this. Right. That's that one. Now the the little washer. small pliers yeah. I hate it when you just get things right and so it moves Yep. How about that folks? That's really gone quiet now. Right. Look at that now. Nowhere near as noisy. Right. Now. Right, so lubricate, see if I can avoid, if I can avoid taking all this apart to do it, because you can get into it. So, 
if I can avoid taking it apart to do it then I will because you can get into it I mean it's I mean like your speed changer there let's turn that I mean like your speed changer mechanism there I mean you can really really get into it I mean Now let's put that back there a minute, give that a, there we go, look at that now. Now that's, <coughs> now. Let's have a look see if the speed actually changes. Right. I mean that's dead silent. Right, so let's put it into one of its modes. Let's put it in play. See that goes up and down as it should now, more or less. Right. It isn't turning now, so let's have a look why. Oh, I know why. I know why. I just want to say it's difficult it's difficult to work on oh hang on a minute that's it that's it. I'll put the fucking thing upside down. You believe that? You believe that, folks? I've put the fucking tire on upside down, the idler back on upside down. Why can't you have Why? Why? Because I haven't got enough gas. Yeah, no, it's a bit nippy on this, I will say so. What? Right, so them bits have fell off. We'll get them back in a minute. Lift that off. Take that washer off the top. It goes that way, it must do. Put this on here. See if that there uh, now that's down the bottom where yeah that's right now. So let's put the washer back on and then find the bits that sort of flew off. Get the back here somewhere, they're on the desk, I know they haven't fell off. Oops. Well, there's the there's the washer.
and the clip will be knocking around here somewhere. I mean, it's not like, oh, come on, where are you, fucker? It's here somewhere. <coughs> Just make sure it's not in there still somewhere. No, let's put that down there a minute while I find the clip. Right, let's find the clip. It doesn't matter if I don't find it, it'd be nice to though. It doesn't matter if I don't because it's a standard, standard circle or clip on it. So, but we like to take off what we put on. But it's in here somewhere, it's on here somewhere. I hate it when I drop things. I know it didn't go on the floor, that's for sure. I know that for certain. It didn't end up down there. Don't know what that is. In our face. There it is. See? Right. Put the clip back on. You don't need to see me do this really, because you just see me do it once. And then I've taken the damn thing back off again. So when are you putting your application in? Hang on, let me just stop the camera. Hang on folks, I just want to speak to my daughter about something, I'll be back in a minute. Right. Right, now it's time for, uh, it's time to clean. Now if I spin this now folks, nowhere near, nowhere near as noisy. And, look at that, it grips really well. I think the noise really is coming from the motor, but uh, it's all going to get done anyway. Uh, this has got to come off because that feels a bit cruddy, a bit tight. Um, it's all got to be. Right, let's have a look at this motor. That motor feels good. <clears throat> right. Now. Let's check the... Let's check the switches. This is the... This is the switch. So we'll give that a bit of a grease. So basically what I'm going to do folks, I'm going to give, I mean there's no grease actually in this, I mean, oh, all the time it was owned by the bloody BBC, they probably never serviced the damn thing. I mean, I mean, organisations like that just keep things working, they don't service it. They just keep it going. A bit on there, a bit on there, a bit on that cam there. Because I reckon it'll all work a lot fucking easier with a bit of grease on it. Just give it a good liberal going with a bit of grease.
That already feels better. <coughs> and that there is for adjusting the brake. That there for adjusting the brake. I believe. There we go, get a bit of grease on there as well. It just helps relieve the friction, I mean, this is going to be... I mean, let's check the switch, that's a switch there, let's check that. Uh, whatever actually hits that switch, I don't know what hits it. Uh, some it does. Oh. It's... Bits on your head block that hit that. Now... Now, these motors here, the table motors, they've already been oiled. I oiled them the other day because I couldn't get much movement, so I oiled the table motors. Now we'll do the top of the, now we'll do the top of the deck. We'll look at the top of it now. I mean... Let's take the let's do the pinch roller first. Whoops, what's that? It's a screw out of the hinge from the lid because I took the lid off. Right. Pull this off here. Put it there. Take this off. Because this has to come out, and this is really mucky. I had a look in here the other day, that's really mucky, it needs a good clean. Now, they're the bearings, which I'll show you in a minute. And there's the pinch roller, which you can't get off. No, you can't get off, so move me drink. Bucky fuckers aren't they? Whoever used this didn't clean it much. It's very, very. Let's get another cloth that's got a rubbery new all over it, it stinks. <coughs> oh, there we go. Somebody complained on my channel to that on YouTube about my swearing. You know, as far as I'm concerned, people don't like my swearing, then please stay away from my channel. Don't like me swearing, don't watch me. It's as simple as that. If I don't like something, I won't watch it. You know? Yeah. I think some people do it just for the fucking hell of it, just to have a bloody go. Well, there's no good having a go with me. Some fucker called Nigel. Don't have a go at me, Nigel. Don't like my channel. Fucking stay away from it, you cunt. I don't mind. He didn't have any videos up of his own. I went on his channel. He had fuck all. He's probably a fucking troll. So 
So generally what I'm doing here, as you can probably see, you might have even, you know, you might have even been able to work it out. I'm cleaning the pinch roller because I can't get the damn thing off. It's part part of the fucking capstan. I mean Whoever built this, built it with the intentions of it fucking being able to last. There we go, let's clean that there. Now, now look at these folks, these little tiny bearings look. Little small bearing race that's got to be cleaned. It's got to be cleaned. And I'll give it a wipe first. And what I'll do now, I'll put some isopropyl alcohol into the lid of the bottle. I don't like doing this because the fucking stuff's evaporating. And what I'll do now. I'll drop the bearings in there, get the Swiss round. There we go. The eyes are propelled all over me. Right. Give that a good wash. Let's just see if I can. Where's that fucking thing I use for picking? See, because it's greasy, I want to get it as much of it out as I can. So at least I know it's greased and not oil. So at least I know it's a grease bearing. It will be offered for, might be offered for sale as tape recorder, so keep your eyes out for it, folks. If you want it, you know, any, any of you have seen how I've, done, how I've done the work, and you actually want the tape recorder when it's available for sale, then yeah, let me know. Because... There we go. And do you know somewhere? The bearing is not even loose or anything, you know, they're all nice and tight. Right, let's get the just see what else is down there. Because there's a spring by the look of that. And another bearing race. How the fuck am I going to get that bastard out? Where's me picker? The fuck's that? There it is. Oh, the fuck am I going to get that one out? That's cool. That's full of shit down there, folks. Let's empty some of this isopropyl down it if I can. Because it'll evaporate. Oops. There we go. That'll go down there, it'll clean all that shite out. Oh, fuck. Let's put the top on the isopropyl for a minute. Because I don't need it now for a minute. There we go. Let's Well, that's all clean there now anyway. Yeah. And I haven't got any. Where's me poker? 
There it is. Look at all that crap in there, folks. Look at that. That's disgustingly bad. But once it's all out, let's just have a look. There we go. That's got it. It's just a matter really of putting that in there, pull it out now and be full of shit, there we go. Get the other corner, I need some cotton buds really, but I've got them on, or Q-tips as the Americans call them. But I've got them on so I'm having to do the best I can with what I've got. Get all the excess out of there. There we go. Oh, lovely and clean in there now. Yep, sorted. So what we'll do now, because we know it's grease that goes in there. And then now what we'll do, we'll pack it with grease. Put some grease into there. Put the spring on. Let's get the cloth to just wipe the on top of the pinch roller before we end up with it down the sides. We don't want that. We're probably getting cleaned again anyway, but why do something you don't have to do? Now I'll put a bit on the grease, a bit on the bearings. I think you're going anyway, that, yeah, it's just bearing, isn't it? And that's the bearing cap. And that will push the bearing in. I mean... Let's just move the wheel off it. Look at that now. Sorted. And that changes the speed. Now if I drop that down, that's, a lot, that's faster, not slower, yeah. Now, move that out of the way. top cover back on the top bracket whatever you want to call it to put it back on in its rightful place yes I'm not really a tape recorder guy folks I'll be honest but you know I'm gonna try and do this this way it might be easier I'm not really a tape recorder, tape recorder guy. You know, if it's tape recorders you want, your best site is your best, your best website. As far as I'm concerned, is Clyde site. 
client to client to his client sites uh, you know he does lots of tape recorders and he's good but uh, Ambo radios and record players are just fancied I just fancied for a change just try my hand at a couple of tape recorders and just see just thought I'd have a go at tape recorders for a change there we go that needs tightening back up because I, I know that's coming out and don't need to now it's clean the caps now it's clean the capstan uh, the capstan flywheel uh, get the clean the capstan flywheel first I'll go around it with the sanding sponge and that'll take any fixed stuff off it stuff that like that there where the rubber was where the rubber tire was stuck to it there we go that'll smooth that out you see and it won't go ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum as it goes round because I've got my flat spot out of the rubber tire so let's get the bit of isopropyl on there and that should eat the rubber I'll tell you what go let's give it a wipe and then give it a wash now let's give it a wash now Still got. Can I not get that fucking rubber off there? Can I? Seems to keep fading back when I get it out. Right. Now let's put the top back on the bottle. Right. Let's have a look at this now, see how they see how it runs I'll tell you what folks there's a fucking big difference in there you know there is there's a let's just get my paintbrush put a bit of grease on the bottom of the capstan there we go because I can just look to get in there with this At least I think I can. Just. Yeah. Got in there with that. Now let's just 
Got a few liberal spins. Now that, that was dead noisy before. Could do some new grommets in there. I'll find some new grommets for that. Because the grommets here have perished. So I'll put new grommets in that motor. If I can. Kevin and Hughes, made in Great Britain. Motor. Mark 1. 230 volt. Three phase. 50 cycles. Right, I wanted to pull this clip off now, didn't I? Oh, hang on, that's... Yeah, yeah, just... Ow! I heard that hurt. Right, pull that off. Well, that's not as tight as it was. Somebody's been in... Oh, no, that's me in it recently. I was going to say, somebody's been in here and they haven't. Now, what I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, though. I wouldn't be surprised, I mean, this thing's been laid up for years, I mean, it's about, it's about time somebody like me got hold of it, and that is different, that is the same on both sides, now I want to give that a clean, and it's all heavy stuff that's on there, so I'm going to use I'm going to use the, the sand, sand and sponge just gently to get the crap off because I want this to run right as you can see I'm just sand, sanding this down just slightly but very very lightly just to get all the crap off that's on here but not <coughs> there we go there you go that's that done Put the clip back on. There's not really a lot to servicing this mechanism, folks, honestly. The, I mean, I mean, they would have had to have been made sort of basically serviceable so that. It could be serviced because these are this is a professional machine you know this is not a machine that you would have had in your house uh, because it can because it can go at uh, it, can, it can go at nine and a half or nine and a quarter inches per second and you know uh, it's seven and a half and nine and a half I believe but uh, not the, not the sort of thing that you would have had in your house unless you were rich but uh, this was actually a professional I believe that this is a professional machine you know for uh, well it came out of the BBC so you don't know this could have been responsible for recording all sorts of shit that the BBC put out like Mrs. Dale's diary and you know fucking Hancock's fucking half hour or whatever it was all that crap the BBC used to foist on us you know on, on radio listeners now look at the now to have a look at the tape heads move everything away from them there we go because I'm going to give the tape heads a clean now but I'm going to I think they unplug in this, you know, they're not the soldered in. No, they don't, they unplug. They unplug, you just unscrew, you just have to unscrew the fuckers. Now, we'll start with... 
we'll start with the play recorder because that's got paper shoved under it for some reason. So we'll take the play recorder head out. That's got paper shoved under it, I don't know why. I'm at, I'm at a loss as to why somebody's put paper under the head. But we'll take it out and we'll give it a clean and also take the fucking paper out and all. Screw for it, got it. No, it's still, still, still screwed in. But see, this will all be sorted out and realigned. This will all be done. This will all be done when I. This will all be done when I will all be done this when I uh, put it all before I put a tape into it before I thread the tape up on this it'll all be clean and tested I thought these heads unplugged they don't be fucking soldered on so I'm going to be careful so I'll look at the wires now so I know where they go if they come off yeah now let's see look at this here look now look at that That probably had springs under it at one time, and somebody probably lost the fucking springs. But what we'll do for now, because that shouldn't paper shouldn't be there. I'm just going to screw the heads, or well, they might have just realigned it, done it like that for their own purpose. I mean, they might have done it like that for their purpose. But look at that. BBC bodge ups by the look of that paper in the fucking tape heads. Alright, what I want to do next, I want to clean the tape head if I can get to it without too much fucking about. If I get my fingers in that opening, I'll do it. If not, I'll have to get some cotton buds and do it that way. But we'll, we'll just give it a go. See if I can get the cloth into there <laughs> yeah it's only a single pole head this it's only got a single pole piece in it nice and clean so now we can put the screws back in fancy putting fucking paper under them I don't understand why it was done but I know I'm taking I know I'm leaving it out until I find out a bit more understanding about it I mean, I don't understand why paper was put in the fucking tape heads. Do you know there's many things in this world I don't understand. And I'm not ignorant to them because of that. I just don't fucking understand certain things or, you know, and I certainly don't understand why people put paper under tape heads. I've never worked that one out.
but I'm pretty sure that when I run the tape through for the first time I'll understand why and I'll also understand that it needs that it probably needs fucking springs probably needs springs under it instead of not fucking pieces of paper so I'm going to tighten the screws up for for now and tighten it up for now and I'll, I'll do an alignment I mean the erase head screwed all the way down but they normally are anyway I don't understand why they felt the need to budge it with paper. That was the BBC's engineer of the day. That's if it was I mean it might have been done by someone else after it left there. But as I don't like the BBC, I'm quite content to blame them. And I'm having trouble with this last screw. Why is it always the last one? You always have trouble with the last fucker one. It's got to go in, it came out, it's got to go in. I mean, the head's lined up. Right, we're on the hole. I don't know why they couldn't have used Phillips screws for this. It would have been a lot of fucking easier. Come get in there, you bugger. Come on. Oh, pardon me. It's lined up, I don't understand why it won't fucking go in. Let's just slacken these ones off just in case it's my eyes. Now it's lined up, there's not really a great deal of adjustment there. But it's got to go in. I mean, nowadays, <clears throat> I mean, nowadays you wouldn't have to fucking worry whether you've got four screws, would you? There you go. You, you know, you wouldn't worry if we got got about getting four screws these days. You'd be lucky if you got fucking two. The shit they make now, don't you? Proper, proper crap. Uh. Yeah. See, if that's out of alignment when I come to play a tape, uh, if that's out of alignment, then all I'll do, the erase head one's not too bad. I can get my hand in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's clean actually, that. Yeah, it's bright, that.
That'll do. But, oh! Tighten that up. Right. Now, that's all. That needs wiping. Well, all this needs a good degreasing on the top of this. And then once it's degreased, it'll needs all washing. I've got some stuff that clean that up, it'll come like new. It'll look like new that but that deck when I've cleaned it. Right, so that's as much as I'm gonna go on there for now, folks. Uh, these pressure pads look okay. Uh, the uh, and what I'm going to do because you can you can actually lift that and it will go just above the motor spindle. So because so what I'm going to do I'm going to take that off there. And I'm going to leave it off. I just leave it just above. That way, it won't, that way, that won't put a ding on the top of the motor. That way, it won't, it won't put a ding on it. it. Won't put another ding in the idler wheel. So I'm going to leave that like that. And I need to tighten that corner thing up. I undone. So we'll just get the pliers. Because none of that needs to come out. I've, I've been able to. There we go. Service all that without having to take it all apart. And these motors here, they were done the other day. They're all done. They've been out and done. Uh, I did them off camera because they were sea solid. So I decided that the best thing for those was to just do them and have done with it. And that's right. What I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to call this part one. Uh, servicing the deck I'm going to call it part one and servicing the amp is going to be part two now I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, I don't know what more I don't know what make that tape recorder is all, all I can tell you is that the deck is ferrograph I knew that as soon as I seen it because of the uh, displacement to the right of the head block. So I knew that. I knew as soon as I seen it. And in all honesty folks, I only gave 10 of my pounds. Uh, you know, I only gave 10 pounds uh, for this. So, you know, it's uh, if it turns out to be a time waster, I'm not really bothered, but I know it won't. Let's make sure I'm not that's dropped back down there again. I want that out of the way there. I want that up there to stay up there out of the way so it doesn't put another ding in the rubber. Because uh, we've got that pretty much right now. Uh, But uh, anyway, thanks for watching folks and uh, join me in part two when we will be working on that component known as the amplifier and uh, all the recording gubbins and everything that's in there uh, to do with the recording and amplification of the signal. Thanks again folks and you lot take it easy. Bye for now. Hey folks, oh, right, well I've tested the, uh, I've tested the heads and uh, I'll test them again in front of you because I might have accidentally turned the bloody camera off, being a dopey fucker that I am. I've cleaned the base plate and everything, so what we'll do, we'll test, what we'll do, we'll test the resistance of the heads. Right. 
Right, the erase head, I think that tested about 5 ohms. Let's test that. Uh, 4 ohms. The erase head tested that. Now let's test the play record head. Uh, I'm going to have to lift it up folks, I'm sorry, but you, know, you might not see this. You just have to take my word for some for certain things. If I can't, I'm not taking all this apart just to reach that. I'd rather do it from where I can get to it. I'm not pulling all the capstan and everything out. So we're... 40.1 on that side. And we're 5 ohms on that side, so... And let's sit, let's out of, out of curiosity see what the other side of this reads because this has got another side that isn't even used come on It's reading nothing that, but it did a minute ago. It read something a minute ago. Alright, let's try again. It fucking read something a minute ago. No, nothing. Let's see what. Oh, that's why I hate the bottom pins. I hate the, I hate the wires. No. Anyway, uh, the eraser. I'm getting five ohms out of the eraser. I'm getting uh, forty ohms out of the play record and five ohms out of the play record. So what I want to do now is just check the mechanism really by rotating it by hand and see I'll turn this round because you won't see much right this it could do the new idler but it's working it's working I mean that'll I mean, once it's running, I'll probably be able to do something more about that, get it a bit better, but, you know, getting a new idler for this would be nigh on him, bloody possible. I mean, but then again, having said that, you can't expect them to make the parts forever either. I mean, they're, uh, just move the idler off the capstan a minute, because I want to check it for... Capstan's dead silent, folks. It's really is. It's it's a silent. It's as silent. It's as silent as an angel's fart. Now, right, just check the speeds. The speed switch. <laughs> right, the speed switch actually did work yesterday, and it was nice as well. Oh, hang on, I know what it is has to be lined up and there we go that's the second that, that, that's that's the second speed and you can tell you can tell the speeds by putting that onto there and holding that down and turning that and then turning that putting that down there it's a bit faster there is a difference in the speed it's a bit faster with it down so I know so I do know that the speeds do work so I know the speeds are working 
and I'm happy with that. Uh, all underneath here, I'll just try and see what I show you. All underneath here, all this has all been checked. All this has all been checked and uh, just tucking these wires under here out of the way so nothing happens to them. I don't know what this does, it goes onto a switch and it's some sort of bayonet fitting and sort of like coaxial and it goes onto this switch here and I don't know what it does but it goes to like a little metal can thing uh, which I thought at first was a capacitor but it's not and that's okay because that's might feel a bit stiff but the notice that the brakes are on and they're on maximum adjust so if I if I take the brakes off maximum adjust because uh, I did that put them down there as you can see the motors now turn freely and I'll do the same with the other one I mean I'll need to set these brakes up and stuff so you do that with that one they, they turn perfectly beautifully and they're quiet and that's quiet now and that'll be that'll get even quieter the longer it runs I think uh, but uh, so th these will th th these will be set. You can tell where they were set. They were set to there. They were set to there originally. So we'll set them back up to where they were set. See, I want to try and organise the bench. I've got got some record players to photograph tomorrow that I've got for sale. So I want to try and that's it. That's it. All right. So uh, that's it for that's it for the deck for a while now, folks. Uh, take good of it. I'll let you have another good look. But take good of it because you won't be seeing it for a while now. Uh, you won't be seeing this for a good while. Uh, this is as good as I'm going to get it. It's serviced. All the motors do work. And everything spins and everything runs nice and free. The only, my only concern really is the heads. And I, think that, I don't think that's an issue. And because it's not going to be used for a while. What I want to do. There's a bit of an over adjust in this speed controller and what I want to do I want to use the over adjust to put the the pulley or the idler over the top of the motor there so that it won't cause another ding in the another dent in the motor uh, I mean once I've repaired it and I've sold it I don't give a fuck what happens to it once it's once, once I've been once I've sold it and the person's happy with it once it leaves here and the person's happy I don't give a stop I'll do until it leaves I'll do hang on I'm just checking something out Right, because uh, I've got somebody for a record player, so she wants to see pictures. The person wants to see pictures of the available players I've got in stock, so here we go. Now, Now folks, this 
is the amplifier the case to the Dark Ages tape recorder so what we're going to do now yeah well what we're going to do we're going to remove the amp we're going to remove the amp to start with and I'm going to assess the whole situation uh, I nearly broke my frigging glasses then Anyway, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'll turn, I'll turn you back on when I've got the amp out of the chassis, out of the cabinet, because that's just wasting time. I'll be back in a few minutes. Right, we're back on again, folks. Oh Jesus, man! Let me tell you something, lads. Let me tell you something. If somebody ever offers you one of these to repair. Please, if not for the sake of your own sanity, say no. Because getting the fucking amplifier unit out of the chassis is a bastard. Now let's have a look at these valves. Because I've got to pull the valves out, these ones here anyway, that's rectifier so that's, well, that's loose. Ooh loose that plug but I know the valve does work 6v6 so 6v6 I'm going to put a find somewhere to put the valves I don't know what to do they're all a bit fucking dodgy fucking hell Jesus, pull that fucker. That's when I'm locked till the fucking things are a fucking lock on the fucking edge of that EZ40. That's a recce valve. And this is another one and that fucking lock fucking valves that lock in. EL41. British made, yeah. Right, so let's just shift that out of the way because I'm going to put that there for a minute and I need. See, these ones they can stay in, they're alright. ECC 35. And I don't even know. Get a screwdriver under because it's an octal base, but I can't get the fuck up, can't pull it. So I'll get a screwdriver under there. <laughs> Gently rock it, there we go. We got it out. Whoo, we folks. Whoo, somebody has given me. A hell of a task. I'll leave that there. And my DS has come on and all. My DS, I must have caught the switch. Oh no. What the fuck's going on here? again right put that there for now right so here we are with a chassis out of that tape recorder now I don't know that, that is supposed to fit into there and it's supposed to fit into there that so we'll start off by putting that back where it should be. So we'll open that, push that back down. And OK. 
Get a fucking screwdriver that's got a fucking straight end on it. Whereas my computer decided to re-fucking start on its own. That, that's not even fucking pushed in as it should be, that is now. This, there we go, now that's tightening now, so you're judging by Judging by the state of the power lead, I want to check everything because the power lead was a right mess, it was rotten and it, when you bear the wires to expose new copper it just wasn't having its tennis bulb out that way I won't crush it and have broken glass all over my bench Right, so what I want to do to start with, there's, uh, what I want to do to start with, I want to check capacitors. That's the order of the day to start with. To start with is check capacitors. Um, that's here, and there's a lot in here to check. There's a lot in here to check. There's a lot in here to snip out and fucking throw in the bin probably, you know. Yeah, I'm beginning to understand why my tape recorder was only a tenner. Yeah, somebody else didn't want this job. And really, can you fucking blame them? What's the fucking thing there? I know what it looks like, but it ain't. That there, don't know what that is, some sort of coil. It's not a capacitor anyway. Right, so what, let's let's get on to the meat and potatoes of the job. Right, let's start with this capacitor here. Right. So red. Red red is sixteen microfarads and yellow is eight microfarads. So, no problem with that, we can sort that out. Uh, if I can get to the fucking thing that is, okay, now. Jesus. Oh, well, I told you folks, whoever, yeah, cutting to me mat and everything, look at that. Whoever, Basically, let's try and pull this up. So we can get the capacitor out. test it because I'm not replacing what I don't have to if whatever's in here is good it stays whatever's in here is good it's staying in because there we go right so all I've got to do is test So, yellow. Right. Oh, my computer decided to update. Good job we're uploading a fucking video. They don't give a fucking toss to the Microsoft. Right, so. 
the can is negative. 29, 29 point, I said 16 didn't I? Right, so that's 29. Right, it's gone up a bit. See, not measured. So the capacitance is not measured, but it's at 8 microfarads, so... It's... 20 point... You know, so we'll replace that one then. Right, so we'll mark that down as it being replaced. So that's got to be replaced. Now I can get under the other ones, I think, to check them. Right, so that first one's being replaced. Oh, is this a sign of things to come? I wonder what this is here. There's. Right, see what the value is. Fuck it would be the other way around, wouldn't it? One of them was fucking rubbed off. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think this is a fucking bit of a lemon, to be honest. Uh, 16 by 16, 500 volts. And what's the other one? 16 by 16, 500 volts. So say that they're both the same value. So... Let's see what we have. Let's see. Right, well. Yeah. Now, connect that to there. Connect that. That's negative. And connect that to there because that capacitor's coming from there. On. 19.26 ESR 139 ohms. Oh, that's a bit high. Now let's go to the next control, next place. Which is over this side. 17.1.7 ohms. That's not too bad. I've seen them worse. So that's pretty much in range. Now let's have a look at the other. Have a look at this fucker down here. This has only got two legs on it. So this is only a 16. So this is only a 16 mic, so we'll connect that to there. We'll just check, make sure it's not two in one of the cans of earth. In circuit leaky. Open circuit or low capacitance. Right, so it's two capacitors and the can's acting as earth. Twenty-eight point fifty-nine microfarads. Right, so we'll. I think we'll put three of them on the list. Fuck it. Say so be coming back in here again, won't it? It'll say me coming back in here again. We got all these fucking waxes and shit. You got. That fucking fucker down there. Alright, let's see where we're up to. We need... I mean, a lot of these haven't even got a fucking... I might have to get the manual on this, try and get it anyway. A lot of the capacitors haven't got a value on them. Some of them haven't got the fucking values on them, folks. How the fuck am I supposed to know there's no value on them? 
and there's fucking capacitors, you know, buried in there. I'm trying to let you see what I'm doing, but sometimes it's going to go out of shot, and there's not really a lot I can do about it. Uh, it's not really a great deal I can do about it, folks. If you can't see it, then I'll do my best to make sure that you can. Um, I know there is some bad capacitors in it because it fucking hums. So I know there's some. And it didn't help or damage the fucking speaker cone getting the fucking chassis out. Do you know there's just some, fun, some fucking things in life. There's just some things in life that are just too fucking difficult. You have to discover, you have to decide whether it's going to be fucking worth your time fucking doing it. Now, and this is one of them. I'd like to get this tape recorder working, I really would. In circuit, low capacitance, right, so I'll have to be replaced. I'll double check it. In circuit low capacitance, that has to be changed. And all mind you, all this stupid meter is supposed to read the fuckers in circuit. It's supposed to fucking read them. Fucking stupid thing. See, not measured. Right, so it didn't measure the capacitance. Right, I'm gonna have to. It's gonna. Gonna be a lot of work in this for me. I think the best thing to do with this I think the best thing to do with it folks The best thing to do with this is to make and make a note of all the values I do now and and get them ordered. Make a note of all the values I do know and get them ordered. Um, I think that's the thing to do with it. Um, yeah, I mean the rest. I mean it doesn't look in too bad. It's not in bad nick as such. It's just awkward. It is awkward, folks. It's, this is the most awkward fucking thing I think I've ever done. Um, right, valve eater wires, just check all them, make sure none of them have fucking been eaten up. Well, the valve eaters will be coming from that bulb anyway. And they look okay. But uh, you've got that adjustment there on the back. <coughs> what the fuck that's for, I don't know. <coughs> and you've got these here, look. I don't know what these are for. These are made to be adjusted. I'm not going to adjust them and label one, two, three, four. I'm leaving them. I don't know what they do. I might have to get a manual on this, I'm afraid. It's. Uh, uh, and this is your voltage tap here. I don't know what that socket there does. Uh, that there could be a mic or something, or some form of output, input, whatever. Mm. Whatever it is, this is chassis number 42, so they made at least 42 of the bastards. And, you know, I would imagine when it's done, it'd be a bloody good machine. I expect it to be a pretty good machine when it's done and uh, I would say that that's your mains transformer there no this could be your output yeah that's your mains transformer there your speaker is here plug it into there it comes across output transformer is 
whoops, what the fuck am I resting on? I'm a bulb holder. Uh, the output transformer, it's only single ended this, it's not push pull, which is a shame, it would have been nice if it was a push pull, but it's not, it's only single ended. But, that, that and that, they'll all be replaced. I will replace those, fuck it. Uh, that could be the output transformer, but I don't know. But uh, could even that even could be the output? I don't know. Not sure what these are. I think that's the output. Oh no, no, no! That's a choke. I think that's. I think it is. I don't fucking know. I'll have to work it out. It could be output. It could be external speaker there. I'll have to work it out. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know the amp that well. Then why does air go to the meter on the front of the unit? And uh, so, until I get the rest of the bits I need, folks, until I put the order in, or check see if I've got them in my stuff, um, that's about it for now. That wraps this uh, project up for now. <sighs> One thing I do know, I have had sound out of it, so at least I know partially something somewhere works. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's a socket on the front. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. Yeah, we should have another. Should have another one of those sockets because I unplugged two of those. No, oh, there's the other one there. What they've done, and it's so easy to get that mixed up and stuck a stick a fucking valve in it. But that there's the other socket that the other lead goes into, uh, and that one there'll be for the motors and stuff. <laughs> No, sorry. This one here be for motors and stuff, I think. I think this one here is for heads and stuff. Unless they've jumbled it all together. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there for now. Because I'm fucking tired. <sighs> I'm dog tired, folks. I want to go to sleep. I'm going to leave the repair there for now. And uh, if I wake up in the night and I'm wide awake... I might fire the camera back up again and certainly I'll have a look to see if I've got the capacitors and stuff in that I need to do this job. So, because I've not got a manual I'm going to treat all capacitors at 500 volts. Uh, all electrolytics anyway, that I can't read the values on, I'm going to treat them all at 500, treat them all as 500. Anyway folks, uh, I'll be back when I get some more news. <laughs>